Roxanne Knaterman has her own story. A professional since 2006, she currently rides for Bravo Live, but her connection with cycling runs far deeper, as she is the daughter of Jerry Knaterman, a former world champion and two-time winner of the Amstel Gold Race. As a youngster, Roxanne was aware parents of her classmates knew her father, but the rest was totally unknown to her. I really didn't know. I just knew that he was a world champion. But how, where, when, I really didn't know. He never spoke about it. I knew he was a national team coach. I just didn't know what he had done in the past. It was after I started to race myself that I was confronted with it. Simply because people think it is nice to discuss it with you. And also because they put a name tag on you. Because you are the daughter of. It wasn't until after her father's death that Roxanne became curious and started looking into his career and the sizable success he achieved. You see race results and then you think... OK. And especially when you see races that he won on TV, or even races that you ride yourself, then you really start to think, OK, that is really hard. So no, it wasn't really in my mind. Jerry Knaterman won the Amstel Gold Race twice in his career, so if there was a women's edition of the great race, would Roxanne try to win it and have her name in the history books alongside her father? <laughs> Absolutely. I'd circle it in my agenda, marketing capitals and everything. That would be something. When I drove over here and passed the Valkenberg, I thought to myself, how cool will it be when there's a women's edition on the Sunday? I would train harder than ever and be at the start with the highest morale. Absolutely. Voor moraal hier aan de start staan, ja, zeker weten. Jerry Knaterman's second Amstel victory was the more remarkable as it came after a serious crash that left most thinking he wouldn't be able to compete with the best again. If you talk about the Amstel Gold Race, of course I would be highly motivated because he won this race twice. He won his first time when he was a first year pro and if I had to believe my mother, then this was his breakthrough. And then he won it again, ten years later, when nobody thought he would ever ride on the highest level again. We have the race on tape. I've seen it once or twice. Hell, I've watched it many times and it gives me goosebumps. And of course, it is emotionally charged because he is not with us anymore, but also because it was a great race. Every time I ride uphill on the Galemmerberg, then I think this is where he did his winning attack. That always improves my morale. And I think this is not the place where they will lose me. And that is absolutely because this has a certain meaning for me. Roxanne's pedigree's never been in doubt, but it's through her father's coaching she believes she's made her greatest improvements. Yes, of course. He was the best teacher you could dream of. In the beginning, right after he passed away, I really missed that. That's also the reason why I was out of sorts. Of course, also because of the whole situation, but especially in cycling, I just didn't know how to do it. Before his death, I was a person where not winning wasn't an option. That was me. I can still remember the first race after his death. I was nervous and I didn't feel as confident. I just didn't know how to handle all those emotions. Roxanne Knaterman has proven her worth on the women's tour and with time on her side, she still harbors big ambitions. Dromen. Dreams. I still have a lot of dreams in cycling. And I really think I do think that is the reason why I'm still doing this. I keep surprising myself. I grow every year. And every year I discover a new quality of myself. Or something I just can't do. And I still really enjoy that. 
If I stop enjoying that, then I think it must be time for kids. But for now, I'm just living my dreams.